Being a marketer is no sweat. You just have to manage dozens of channels, launch hundreds of campaigns, score thousands of leads, and... Okay, fine. It's a lot of sweat. Unless you have HubSpot's AI-powered marketing tools to help you do all that and more. Get started at HubSpot.com slash marketers. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. I am your host, Debbie, and today we have a very special guest here in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm excited to be here today. So my name is Brandy Pierce, and I am from College Station, Texas, and I have done a stint all around this world, and I have landed and planted my roots as of four months ago here in Waco, Texas. Woo woo! Yeah, yeah. We are so glad to have you here in Waco. So since you're new on the podcast, um, what brought you to Waco? Or are you Waco native? Obviously, you're not. But tell me uh, about your Waco journey. Yeah. So, um, you know, I've, I've driven through Waco quite often from College Station to Dallas all the time. That's where I was headed. And... Um, here I am now I'm in between and, uh, I'm, I'm permanently here, but I came to Waco because my daughter is four years old Aww. and it was very hard commuting, uh, to get her to her dad. So I being the big person that I am, I said, <laughs> I'll move to Waco so we can make our lives easier. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's easy to co-parent when you live close and he's out towards Mejia on mm -hmm. the ranch out there. So that's why I'm here. That is funny because yeah. my dad actually lives in College Station. And so when we were younger, my parents would go from Waco to College Station. Yeah, yep. we all, <laughs> we all do know. That. I've got family here. China yeah. Springs. Oh. Um, my cousin just opened a boutique here in Waco. Ooh. She used to work Shout at the building. Out. Yeah, Savannah's <laughs> Boutique. Hello. Yeah. She used to work at the Bindery Building, which oh. is where Southern Swings, my business is now. So yes. that's how I even knew about the building. I was wow. going in there shopping for... Uh, cute furniture. Yay. So when I heard they were moving out, I was like, hello. What an opportunity. It's time for Divine me to Divine timing. Yes. That's interesting. Well, that's why we're here today is to talk about your grand opening happening this Saturday, Yay. the 12th, at the same time as Celebration. Yes. Um, tell me all about it. Tell me what Southern Swings is. Okay, guys. I'm excited. Um, so Southern Swings Nail and Wine Bar is a nail salon. But it's got porch swings. So instead of your regular massage petty chairs that you find everywhere in America, this is different. This has swings. So you sit. This is this is Southern. Like it doesn't I get any more it. South Southern. You are going to be serving sweet tea too, yes. right? And unsweet for those that you know are weird and don't like sugar. Um, we've got half and half too. So mm -hmm. you know we want to cater to all audiences. And bubbly. But yeah. Oh God, we're going to get there in a second. That's oh, okay. like we'll that's there. my we'll favorite part. Yes, I love nails, and yes, I love this nail salon. But this wine bar. Um, so you sit in a porch swing and you relax. And it doesn't really swing much. You just sit down and it's just kind of like an ambience and it's a different kind of thing. And there's neon signs everywhere. And this is like, I built it for Instagram. Okay. Mm -hmm. I built this like just. I'm so an Instagram girly. Exactly. I slid in your DMs. Your dress to be honest. is like my wallpaper. I like, love it. I just put that dress in my nail bar and that you like, that's I love it. it. Yeah. I'll wear so. this when I come. So. Good. Okay, please do. You'll match. A blend I'll match. I'll, I'll be like camouflage. <laughs> Yeah, everything is pink and frou frou, and the um, all, I got all kinds of chandeliers in there. I've got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chandeliers. Wow, four are feathers, and the other eight are um, or whatever it is, are white antlers. Wow, with crystal jewels hanging down. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, so it's just really unique. And um, you know, when you sit in your swing, you put your feet on the footrest, and it stabilizes it, so you don't go anywhere. So, but but also too for those that uh, don't want to get in a swing or just you know, they don't want to experience the experience. They can come in and just sit in a regular chair because I do have two of those. Great. So, yeah. I love that. So this is really something that Waco hasn't seen before. So kind of why do you think it's important for it to be here in Waco? Sure. I think uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines kind of started off the, the whole like downtown, <laughs> making it cool. Um, I'm sure there was a lot of people doing that before they came around. But um, that's how I found about downtown Waco. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously driving by, but I feel like Joanna really put um, her mark on this place and um, and just brought back like a whole new life and a vibe to it, right? Mm -hmm. and, like coffee press is right across from me. Thank you. Delicious. Yes. And um, yeah, so 
I got off track and forgot the entire question. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but no, no, they do. They Yeah, so where we were headed with that is uh, I wanted to bring something unique to this place. And I think I'm hoping more people will do the same. Good. Downtown, there's a, I think it's Casa de Brazil is mm-hmm. coming in. So that's exciting. That's right by me. And let's get more businesses downtown and get more people it. walking around on foot. Yes. Get them outside. And I love that, especially as you were talking about the building, kind of how it just happened. So it was the findery. It was closed for a while. And now there's Mosaic, which is amazing. Yep. I remember going to the Bishop Arts District. And this was like five, I would say this was probably five to five, maybe more years ago. Um, and I walked in and I was like, this place is so cute. And at the time, I had my own little boutique that I was running. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, this would be so cute to be in. I was like, oh, but we're in Waco. And then now that it's here it's so crazy it is and then getting to see all the cool things that are moving into that building is beautiful including yourself thank you yeah my neighbors uh the mosaic that have you been in yet i've not been into the new location yet i was trying to wait till after etsy (laughs) and oh man my little four-year-old keeps going over there and everything she touches i gotta buy of course too many stickers too many yeah yeah. (laughs) Yeah. a little clip though i'm like put it back (laughs) So we we purchased quite a few things. There's there's really something there for everybody. Yeah. Dogs, women, like just everything. They've got it covered. I love that. Yeah. And with that, I really feel like bringing a high end, you know, nail experience is something that Waco's been missing out on. And again, since it is Instagramable and cute, yeah. you definitely don't want to miss out. Um, well, tell me what can we what can we expect at the grand opening on Saturday? Sure, I'm excited about that because it's going to be. Um, First of all, we're going to give away lots of giveaways. So, mm-hmm. yes, I'm talking about um, we've got two nights Hill uh, Hill Country Stays um, at an Airbnb, like a beautiful one. It's not I better just, win that. No. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, for having me on the podcast, you definitely Woo-hoo. get a leg up there. Thank you. Um, we're going to have um, a three-night stay in Galveston mm-hmm. right by the beach, right by the Pleasure Pier. And then we're also going to be giving away a Camus 50 edition wow. mm-hmm, wine. So I think everyone knows it. Those retail for $300 mm-hmm. a bottle. So we're going to be giving away one of those. Uh, a few other wine bottles as well. Really nice. And then um, some more prizes too mm-hmm. that I'm still working on. So <laughs> hey, we'll get there. Come by. I've got, um, oh my we're gosh. We're recording this on Thursday, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Get raffle tickets and um, all kinds of, I I, I've, got a, I've got a roll of tickets. So I mean, I'm going to give out a bunch of stuff. I just got to get it all together in one basket. I love that. And yeah. so as we're going to experience this, what are you looking forward to most? You know what? I built this place because I love to see people laugh. This is a party experience. Like I want girls to come in and uh, bring their best friends and just have fun, like laugh and be excited. You know, you can come in if you're sad too. That's cool. (laughs) But I just love seeing the parties and I love taking pictures and it's just, it's nice because you can hear the laughter. At my last, this is, this is going to be my third one, but at the last one, it was just so loud. Like you could hear them outside and it was fun. We had dance parties. Mm -hmm. We had all kinds of stuff. So, you know, for me, I, I just want to see the people come out. I want to see their faces when they walk through the mm-hmm. door. I mean, I've, I've really spent every penny that I had on this place plus some. And so I, I'm, I'm building it for the people as an experience. I really want to see them enjoy it. I love that. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, give us all the details. Um, when do we need to be there? All the things. Okay. So 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, we're going to start. Um, we might even start a little earlier than that. We'll have some clients coming in at nine o'clock. So if anyone wants to come just a little sooner, uh, we'll have some more available texts just on standby, uh, just kind of gearing up and, and, and I just ask that everyone be patient with us because it is going to be <laughs> Literally our very, first day. <laughs> I'm telling we this came down to the wire, everybody. Uh, we were working all night long mm-hmm. till 1 a.m. last night. Oh my Tonight gosh. will be the same. Just making sure everything is perfect. But I know we're going to have a, a little bit of hiccup. So bear with us. But this is definitely going to be an experience. Just everything is unique. Everything mm-hmm. is different. Um, and, and also we have a full wine bar too, Ooh. like nice wines, not just like mm-hmm. just regular old crap that you can pick up at CVS. Not that it's all crap. Most <laughs> of it's all good, but it, these are, these are nice bottles, um, that I, that I chose that I thought everyone, if either you're a wine lover, there better be some pink Moscatos, there, there, I there got better be some bubbly, there better be some rosé. I got all that. I'm so excited <laughs> talking about that. That makes me happy. And I saw lattes. Lattes. I am so excited. Bellinis. Yes. Yes. We're going to do, oh, uh, strawberry margaritas. They're going to be wine-based because okay, um, I only have a wine license. Yes, of course. And then regular margaritas that are lime-based too. So we'll, we've got a big <laughs> commercial machine, like it's serious business. And we're going to have 
everything. Oh, mimosa bars tomorrow, <gasps> mimosa flights Yes, as well, so you, everyone can try. They'll put on like a little wristband, Aww. and then that's how I'll know mm-hmm. who's got what. So I love yes. that. Bring the kids, too. Oh, I'm going right. to have so much stuff for the kids. Aww. So I'm going to have a booth for face painting for mm-hmm. free. Aww. So come in, do your whole glitter face, <laughs> and then they can paint pumpkins <gasps> and take one of those so home sweet. with them. Yeah, so bring your kids. I love kids. Unless they're bad, tell them to stay at home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mine's bad. She's so bad. Mine's the worst. No, yeah, that's she, how she is the worst. I can handle anybody's yeah, yeah, kid. Yeah. But we'll have um, a big tent, too, so it won't Aww. be so hot. So it'll shade every, mm-hmm. all the little kids. So Yes, yeah. we are so looking forward to that. Um, well, with that, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Thank you. And now for a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm April. Hi, I'm Caroline. And we have a new podcast for you. What's it called, Caroline? Uh, Bloody Happy Hour. It's going to be your new favorite guilty pleasure. We're going to talk about some bloody stuff. Serial killers. True crime. Rape. <laughs> Rapists. Why not join us? We'll have a good time. You literally never know. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Bloody Happy Hour. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And now, back to the episode. All right, and we're back. So we were just talking about this exciting event that's happening on Saturday that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Um, With that, one of the first questions I ask when we get back from break is what would you like to see more of in Waco? I think that's a, a really unique question um, that I haven't thought of. You've only been here for four maybe months. Maybe I've <laughs> only been here for four months. You know, I think if I could say anything, it might be just a few more things for the kiddos. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that would be. Yeah. But it would be nice to to be able to take um, Ava, my daughter, somewhere with her and experience a few things. And maybe there is. There probably mm-hmm. is, and I just haven't seen it yet. So. Yeah. I'll give you a list of recs after this. Thank you. (laughs) There's probably a ton out there, and I just don't know. No, but but we did hit up Urban Air, and she (gasps) loves it. She's there right now. Oh wow! Yeah, having a great time. Thank you for that. Well, that's amazing. Um, And with that, obviously, like you are bringing this experience to Waco. I feel like it is such a niche that we definitely need as well. So, why do you think it's so important for you to be in Waco right now? Absolutely, I think this is a great spot. Just, just everything's booming. Like I said earlier, they got the. Casa de Brazil coming in. Mm-hmm. You've got all the the Pivo Bar. How mm-hmm. awesome is that? I stayed there the other day just, They're just so I could walk to work. Yeah. And it was nice. I didn't get to do the beer spa. But Dang it. There's um there's just so many unique spots. Let me know when you do it because it's two up. tubs. So yeah, let's we can it. have a girl's day. <laughs> you deserve <laughs> it after all this. Yeah. Oh, I I am. So in case anyone's seeing this, um, <laughs> what it's like to be a business owner is you look homeless 90% of the time. I hear, 10% yeah. you really shine. You look amazing. But yeah. nobody knows who you are when you dress up. So. <laughs> Anyways. But that's amazing. Um, well, with that, of course, I mean, obviously being here in Waco, um, what has it been like being a business owner and kind of bringing this in? Have you had any challenges? What are some of your positive moments? Mm-hmm. Anything like that? You know, I've had some really good uh, employees. I, I Just reaching out to me um, through Indeed and stuff like that. I've, I've had a lot of good applicants. That's what I'm going to say. A lot of good applicants. I haven't had any problems so far. You know, everything's been really nice on that end. It, it it's, hasn't been difficult to find good mm-hmm. people here. So that's really nice. Oh, I love yeah. that. And that's amazing. And that I mean, that leads into my next question. Obviously, shout out section. It sounds like you've had some amazing people help you out with this. Is there anybody you would like to shout out that's helped yeah. you along? I would like to shout out, first of all, What's Up Waco, the Woo-hoo. Facebook page. Yes. Man, that is awesome. You got to get on there. Sometimes there's some I tea on there. <laughs> I do Oh, man. If that was a different podcast, I would be here talking about that. But... But it's interesting, but I'm telling you, everything I post, mm-hmm. like within two seconds, I got somebody. I love it. Last yeah. night I posted, can someone help make some foot rest for pedicure bowls? Boom. Got <gasps> someone right now working on it. Wow. It's been great. Um, but my most important person that I, I am, I can't even tell you guys how impressed I am with her. She's helped me not only personally, but business wise too. But Cassandra's cleaning. Mm-hmm. She makes videos. She makes social media videos for me. And st- I don't even Aww. know how to use TikTok. She... <laughs> 
she makes all this cool stuff and then she she's just been spreading the word Aww. for me and but she cleans mm-hmm. great like just everything Shout in there is, yeah so she's gonna come clean again tomorrow she's been um helping me clean throughout the whole process mm-hmm. as we go to make sure it, these these you know how these guys are they're messy and so um, <laughs> contractors but, but she really even i was out of town the other day and i just i didn't really know anybody here and i texted her because i felt like so comfortable she went out to my house and helped me with something oh. that i needed so airbnb cleaning business cleaning cassandra's cleaning is the one and i found uh about her on what's mm-hmm. up waco so, wow yeah this it place is connected moment. thank you I what's that. up waco facebook page and whoever <laughs> created that and the waco one too yeah. like they've been so great to me and, and posting stuff and mm-hmm. i even named a manicure and a pedicure after waco i did in. see that yes so, i'm so excited yeah that's one we're definitely gonna have to try out <laughs> yeah i love that magazine i'm still trying to get on the cover by the way we'll no, see <laughs> Um, but that's absolutely amazing. And then with that, of course, give us your social media where we can find you, all the things. Yeah. So Instagram is Southern Swings Nail Bar Waco. And our website, same thing, super easy, Southern Swings Nail Bar Waco.com. And then our Facebook page is Southern Swings Nail Bar. That's really easy. Guys, if you get on Google, you can just Google Southern Swings Nail Bar and then New Orleans will pop up and so will Waco. Amazing. So You'll, you'll be directed. You'll find it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And how Thank can we you. book an appointment? You can book online. Boop, boop. Yes, it's, it's, it's 50%. I still need to add a few more texts, but right now you can still book um, some services on our website. But come Monday, it'll be fully boop, boop. functioning. Yeah. Okay, amazing. Hopefully like my brain. Yeah, <laughs> Monday, I think, yeah. After Saturday. Yeah. I think everybody will deserve a rest after yes. celebration weekend. Yes, no kidding. <laughs> and downtown yeah, Waco. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun. Um, but with that, of course, um, is there anything else you would like to share with our listeners today? It's your soapbox moment. No, I'm excited. I hope you all, all come out. And just even if you don't, you know... You say, hey, I don't have much money. Whatever. That's okay. Just come and take a look. Come and say hi. Because maybe, you know, during Christmas, you want to get a gift card for uh, somebody for just a mani or a petty. We've got, just because we're in that building, we our prices are really reasonable. So you can get something for $35. I saw you that. Know, get amazing. a bottle of wine, $30. Um, just gift cards. But yeah, come out, please, and just look at the place. See what <laughs> I built and take some pictures. That Yay. would make me happy. Okay, perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for loaning us your time while you're thank in the you. middle of everything, <laughs> trying to get everything ready. Oh, I gosh. definitely appreciate you taking the time to come all the way up to the 21st floor of the Alico building. Um, and we wish you um, so many successes. And thank you. We hope this weekend is that. amazing. Uh, me too. Here we go. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.